people know she's pregnant. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, we see that you're pregnant. That was so cute. You're like, oh, I hope I didn't. Yeah. No. People know. No. I no. mean, even on the show, I look like a, you know, I look like a blimp. Do you? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Are you? What are you? You standing behind stuff? Yeah, I'm standing behind, you know, pill. It started with pillows. You know, that's how they start you out. But you just I, walk around carrying a yeah, pillow. Yeah, just like you know, like I go to sit down and then I'm like, I just need this pillow real quick, like right. out of nowhere, just yeah. non sequitur pillow. But grab. a lot of people sit like that and hold a pillow. No, but it'd be like me just coming here and just being like, you know. Like that. It's just like non sequitur weird. Do you know what I mean? It's just odd. That would be weird. You know, just, just kind of sitting here holding yeah. this. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now it's like it's going to be turning into like I have to carry a couch because right. like it, it's only been a couple of weeks. Yeah. And I, I mean, I tell people I'm nine months just so they go, oh, you're so skinny. But yeah. <laughs> I'm only four. You're yeah. only four months? Only four. Now, um, and uh, I don't know, was that normal? Are you bigger for four months Pretty than big. you should be? Pretty big. Really? Yeah, even the doctor said, you're big. You know, and then he repeated it like three times. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then my husband's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't keep saying that, you know? Yeah. And he's like, so I said, don't tell me my weight. You know, so Angelo knows. My husband knows my weight, but uh -huh. I don't know my weight. And, and uh, is it your first child? Yes, this is my first. Okay, yeah. so um, that would probably mean you're going to have a, a big baby. No, she, I mean, it's, so far, the baby's pretty normal size. It's uh -huh. just that I eat like crap. Oh. <laughs> All right, but yeah. you can. That's, this is the time to do it. I, uh, yeah, well, But apparently. now you said she. Is it a girl? I'm hoping. Okay. I'm ho I mean, we, we did go, we went to the doctor, and they said it's 90% sure that it's a girl. But I focus on the 10% that it's not going to be a girl. Right. You know what I mean? Because I want it to be a girl. I want it to be healthy. Everybody gets pissed off, apparently, that I go, I want a girl. Because they go, healthy, healthy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, I want a healthy baby. I don't think anybody goes, I wish I didn't have a healthy baby, but I want a girl. Right. You know what I mean? right. Uh, but I'm yeah. assuming people know that. Right. That I want a girl. I mean, healthy girl. Okay? Yeah. So the 10% is now, it's freaking me out. Because what if it indeed is a boy and he just has a small thing, PP? Right. <laughs> You can't console, you, you can't... Well, at that age, aren't they supposed to be small? Well, no, like, I mean, at this point, no, at this point, he should know, like, he should know, like, okay? But the bad news would be to me that it was small, that it was smaller to, you know, like, at this point, it should be a little bigger that he can see All that right. it was a boy. Do you, you see what I'm saying? No, I'm with you. Because you um, can't... But, but, here, but, but, um, but let me tell you, yeah. I'm telling you, okay. you can't work with it. As a girl who's right. had that unfortunate experience... <laughs> I don't want to gross you. I'm not gross. Listen. Well, it sounds... It is. It is. No. You, it is. It's an infant. You're talking about an infant. But he's going to grow up eventually and have sex. It's, and I can't, as his mother, say it doesn't matter. I'd have to say it does matter, it's baby. A, you bet. Baby, it's unfortunate. Hold on. Before you freak out, first of all, they say 90%. Let's see the sonogram. We have the Let, telestrator. Let's look at it. You brought a... Yes. You, okay. okay. No. Okay, that's a boy. First of look all, at that. Don't! <laughs> That would be fine with me. I'd yeah. go, oh, great. Yeah. Because then it would be a little too big yeah. at this point, right. which would be fine with me. Not really. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Leah. Hi, my love. Hi, my love. It's been a while since you've been here. I know. Is it because we scared you last time? Yeah, I don't like that. This, no, this is not the one. Don't play we games really, with me. I don't know why. Hi, every. Listen, it's been a while since. Oh, yes, there you are doing horrible things to me. Yes, but you love getting scared. I don't love getting scared, Ellen. I love scaring people, but I don't love, like, no. No. I don't love but it. But if you, if you know the joy when you scare people, that's why you love scaring I people. I know. I mean, I guess it's pretty giving of me as your friend. Uh-huh. To give you that joy to make fun of people when Thank they're you. scared. It's not making yeah. fun. You know, you scare people. No, it's but I, I do love it. I love seeing their face. And they're like, eh! like, you know, what I did. Right. right? But right. I don't like it when it happens to it's me. It's a thrill inside that you kind of, it breaks up your day. Right? There, no, no one's going to No, scare because you. I'm scared now that you're going to scare me. I promise me. you. I promise you. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Oh, because I should trust you, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, you really shouldn't, but we are. I know, scary. I know, but I do love scaring Who people. Who do you scare? I, like my daughter, I think it's normal for a parent to scare the crap out of their kids. Yeah. You know, you were here, the first season you were here, speaking of your daughter, you were pregnant with her. Yes. And then the second season, I babysat for her. I know, so cute. Yeah, so you're pregnant there, and then Look I ended us. up going to your house. Look at us. And yes. now I'm going to start crying because my daughter is not, like, I can't even talk. Do you see what's happening to me in my I old do. age? I do. I don't know what's happening to me, but now when I talk about her, I just start crying because she's a senior. Oh, she's a senior in college. 
She's a senior in college? No, sorry, she's a senior. No, she's a senior. That, in, in high school? Yes, in high school. And going about to go to college. And I can't even take the thought of her leaving. Like, yeah. I can't even... But now you're applying, you're, you're in college, so y'all can room together. Uh, she would die. Like, I've already brought it up, because I'm like, as it's getting closer to her going to college, I'm yeah. like, by the way, I have some audacity, because I basically put her in a college preparatory school from, like, age five, and now I'm like, me, me, you don't want to go. And so then when I applied to NYU and then got in, to my shock, um, I, you know, my daughter wants to go to school on the East Coast, and I said, you know, maybe it would be cute, right? We'll be, like, cute, like, you know, get her, like, in a... And, like, she's talked to, like, friends of mine and said, please have, like, an intervention with my mom. Like, she cannot yeah. do this. But I think it would be cute, right, that I'm just close by. Like, we don't have to be, like, I don't know. Yeah. No, you don't have to be t together. But, but that, uh, I, mommy's there, I right? Love, I love that you're going to college, though. Thank I think you. that's really cool that you're going Thank to college. You. Thank um, you. Leah, one of my favorite moments of us together was back in season three when oh, I yeah. presented you with the first ever mid-lifetime achievement I still have it. Achievement award. I still have it. You still have it? I still have it. All right. Yeah. Let's take a look back at, uh, it's a segment called uh, Guest Clip Ever. Roll it, Dinah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ellen DeGeneres. to honor a unique woman, someone who always has a way with words and a slight post-nasal nasal drip. <laughs> the one and only Leah Remini. She was born June 15, 1970, in a modest apartment in Brooklyn, New York, and she knew from a tender young age that she wanted to act. In the late 80s, she appeared on TV shows like Living Dolls and head of the class, and in 1998, the hit comedy King of Queens made Leah Remini a household name. She went on to star in the critically acclaimed film Old School, but it wasn't until her notorious appearances on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that Leah became the superstar that she is today. You called someone that you hadn't talked to in 15 years? <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award to Leah Remini. Leah Remini has never been nominated for anything in any category, ever. Um, I am so honored. Um, when I first started in the business, um... <laughs> you know, I would like to thank. Um, I would like to thank, thank you. Coming up next, George Lopez takes you behind the scenes of the Creative Arts Emmys. Stay with us.